My name is Teresa and I have been a member at Cornerstone Community Church for about 15 years. I'm happily married to Michael Rassi and we have five wonderful children that uh, range in the ages between uh, 6 and 14. Uh, the oldest is Carmela and then there's Christian, Francesca, Logan, and Claudia. So uh, today I have been asked to talk about Christmas or more specifically, how Michael and I have uh, kept Christ as the center focal point of the Christmas season, and also what we do to talk about with our children thankfulness and contentment also in this time. Isaiah 9-6 says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I'd like to take a minute and talk a little bit about my backstory. I grew up in a Christian home and I'm one of seven children. I'm a uh, baby girl, number six. And uh, every Christmas started off pretty much the same. The Christmas Eve service, we'd uh, go to the candlelight service and I absolutely loved it as a little girl. Uh, I loved getting to hold, uh, to hold the candle and lighting the candle and I loved all the hymns and the songs and I so enjoyed it. After the Christmas Eve service, we would have a big party at my parents' house. All their friends and family would come, and uh, it was till late in the evening, and uh, we just always had this great celebration. And of course, the next morning was Christmas, and with nine people uh, exchanging one gift at a time, uh, it would last all day. And uh, it was just a big, big day of gifts and fun and all that stuff. But uh, as I look back and reflect on those times, I don't ever recall any more mention of Jesus throughout the day. So as I became a Christian in my early 20s and had committed my life to the Lord, um, I re recall having a conversation with my sister Tracy. And uh, we had been talking about uh, Christmas and what it meant. And uh, I had said something to her about, oh yes, Christmas is about family. And she said, it's about Jesus. And I said, oh yes, it's about Jesus being born. Yes, yes, yes. And then she had said, no, Jesus is the gift. He's the only gift. And it struck me. And I occurred to me at that point that I had not been celebrating Christmas for the true meaning. And I had been doing it in a way that was more of a uh, cultural. So, um, Proverbs 22 6 says, train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The experience of my past, and also from uh, my husband Michael's past, um, with him growing up also with uh, cultural celebrations, we really wanted to gather together thoughtful, fun, interactive visual aids uh, and examples for us to implore what Christmas was about to our children. So today I'd like to show you some of the things that we have collected. So first is um, this book um, that we like to read with the kids, and it's The Night Before Jesus. And it is um, just a sweet book about you know the, the night before Jesus' birth. And it rhymes much like um, a, a book of um, The Night Before Christmas. And I'll read the first page for you. Twas the night before Jesus, when all through the earth, every creature was stirring for the new baby's birth. The people were looking straight up and then down to the left and to the right, both in country and town. So it's just a sweet book about the whole, going through the whole, um, up until the Jesus birth and a little bit after. So it's just a sweet book to read with the children. Um, next, we have Joy. And um, this is Joy. And my sister had made this for um, us, and she is our angel on the shelf. And she's got little angel wings, and um, we uh, have her um, every night from the 1st of December to uh, up until Christmas. She brings little um, notes, but the kids know she's not magic or anything. They know that we're the ones that put the notes on her lap. So they're just a collection of little things that um, we have here, and they're different. Some of them are a little bit more thought-provoking. Some of them are light. This one here says, um, what are three ways you can uh, help someone in need during the holiday season? 
And this one here, and I just grabbed a few of them to show. What is your favorite Christmas hymn or song? What are three things that you are thankful for? Um, oh, this one's good. Uh, what gift would you have given baby Jesus if you could have been there on the day he was born? And so these are just fun and um, just exciting little things, and the kids always look forward to it. So let's see what we have here. This is a fan favorite in the Rassy home. Uh, this is a little nativity um, advent that uh, we had, uh, I have made from, uh, we got this at uh, Motherhood Connection, and it is, uh, has little characters of the nativity, and each day the kids get to um, pick a card and put, you know, each one is Velcroed on here. And so I just read a couple of them, or I brought a couple of them to read. So the first one is, uh, the little gray donkey carried Mary on his back, across the hills he carried her back and no courage did he lack. Uh, and that was Luke 2, 3. And then, and then they would put the little donkey up there. And then this one says, Today we honor Joseph, who came, who God chose to rear his son while Jesus lived upon the earth, making sure God's work was done. Luke 2, 4 through 5. So even my older children still are uh, love to participate in this. They don't think it's too babyish. They love it. And then next we have oh, the Jesus birthday cake. So um, my sister usually makes the cake and we usually go over for uh, Christmas night. Uh, and let me tell you, when we had little ones and we were tired and it was a long couple days, but I would still, we'd still push ourselves to get there and we sing happy birthday to Jesus. And so I uh, cut a piece of the cake for you to show you. So it's a red velvet cake with, there's some dark chocolate ganache in the middle there. And um, so, of course, the red cake represents the blood that Christ shed for us on the cross. Um, the dark chocolate ganache in the middle represents our sin. The white on the outside represents the purity of uh, Jesus and how he was perfect without blemish. And um, we have some green leaves on here uh, to represent um, forever, uh, the evergreens of forever, that God is for forever. And we have three candles to represent uh, the Trinity, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And uh, I have to say, when we were making the cake, I realized we only had yellow candles. And uh, I was disappointed. And my daughter said, well, Mom, they're yellow. So you could show it for another reason, say that the streets are uh, in heaven are, uh, are gold. So one day when we're in heaven, well, there'll be streets of gold. And um, we sing happy birthday to Jesus uh, and the kids. We ask questions, what, what the meanings are, and all the older kids help out the little kids with all the symbols that we have in this cake. And it's always just been a really great way to close out the Christmas evening and, again, remind the children what, what the day was about. And, of course, this is an ambitious cake. You could always use a box cake that's red velvet or cupcakes would work, too. So that's another thing. And then um, also, um, I wanted to talk about not just all the things that we do, but also that we also encourage the kids um, that uh, we have a compassion child named Nancy, and they also to encourage them to get the sense of giving in the season, and that uh, she is um, to uh, encourage uh, gifts. So we can only give her monetary gifts, so they also uh, collect their own money to give her. Also, Michael and I give three gifts to the children to represent the gifts for the, the wise men gave to baby Jesus. And um, it also holds us a little bit accountable because we could get a little carried away with our own spending and wanting to give and it lo we lose sight of what this is all about. So those are what we have collected. Um, First Thessalonians 5.18 uh, says, uh, give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So I wanted to just tell you a little story about one of my children who recently came to me with a very long list of all the things that she'd wanted for Christmas. And even though I was very busy in the moment, I uh, knew it was a teachable moment to just kind of talk to her about what Christmas was about and uh, not to, um, to be appreciative and content with what God has given us. Um, and also that it is better to give than to receive. And uh, she, she accepted it well, and uh, we talked about it, and she, you know, just, it's a, there's always little teachable moments for our children, and so that was just a small one I wanted to share. 
So um, in closing, I just wanted to um, talk about uh, some encouragement for you. Colossians 4.2 says, um, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. So I wanted to encourage you to be uh, praying for your children and specifically praying that, um, that our children desire things that matter to God and um, that are honoring to God, that they treasure God's word and that they pray and also to pray that their little hearts are softened to the truth of the gospel. And um, I just wanted to um, say thank you so much for listening. Uh, I um, feel honored to be here. And uh, Merry Christmas and God bless.